Hello everyone, this is Zoheb Taheb from ZMEDS and today we are going to talk about Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Remember one thing, this is Irritable Bowel Syndrome, not the inflammatory bowel disease or the syndrome that is different from this one. So first of all, the general introduction, it is one of the chronic diseases that can persist for lifelong and a recurrence is one of the main thing of the concern. It starts usually at the age of 20 years to 30 years and then it can persist for a lifelong and uh, mostly women are affected through um, from this disease. General symptoms are uh, abdominal discomfort which are usually linked with either diarrhea or constipation and bloating and these symptoms are relieved especially abdominal discomfort is relieved after defecation. Aims of the treatment are very simple. We have to improve the quality of life by relieving the symptoms. Now, a couple of advices we have to give to the patient. We have to encourage the physical work and there are some of the things patient has to see in his regular diet. So, he or she, the patient has to use the soluble fibers instead of the insoluble fibers. Fluid intake should be increased and stimulants like caffeine should not be used, alcohol should not be used and the fizzy drinks and beverages should not be allowed to the patient to have. And uh, in case of IBS linked with diarrhea, try to prevent the artificial sweeteners like sorbitol. Drug treatment, uh, when there is abdominal discomfort, you have to go for the antispasmodics like mevaberine and uh, it is present in the form of the acyl salt for the good, ab good absorption and peppermint oil is also available as an antispasmodic in case of IBS. If IBS is linked with constipation then you can go for the laxatives but you have to prevent lactulose because it can lead to the blotting that is one of the symptoms and we have to prevent the symptoms in order to improve the quality of life. Then in case of IBS linked with diarrhea, you can go for the loperamide, but if, in case of children, you have to prevent loperamide and you have to go for the alternate. Then there is a combination of the mevaberine HCL and Spagola husk available with the name of husk M in which mevaberine HCL is present with the amount of 135 milligram and the psyllium husk 3.5 milligram. For the patient from 12 years to onward, you have to give him or her PO means per oral or by mouth one sachet 30 minutes before meal in 150 ml of cold water for two times a day. But if you see that the patient is, severe, is in severe condition, then you can go for the third sachet as well 30 minutes before midday meal. Same is the case with the peppermint oil capsules you, for the 12 years to onward patient, one to two capsules three times a day for three months and capsule should be swallowed not to be chewed because in case of chewing it can lead to the esophagus irritation and its brand is also available with the name of the Mintec in which peppermint oil is present in the 200 microliters. Linaclotide that is one of uh, the drugs available for the for the constipation and uh, you have to give it by mouth 290 microgram capsules are available with the name of the constella it is used once a day and 30 minutes before meal for four weeks and if there is no response to the linaclotide then you can go for the other laxative except leftulose because it can lead to the bloating as I have told you before thank you very much and we will meet you with another condition. Till now, it's the hip diet from Zedmans.